chunk up the ice on the stairs. Look how thick. <laughs> that is some thick ice that's coating that's coating over everything. So I got most of it up what I could. So and then put down a layer of sand and salt. I was so excited to hopefully put that away but I'm glad I didn't because I really needed it. So I think so, this is what spring is like in Maine at the moment. Thankfully, it won't last long though. That's the good news. There's always a brighter side. Or I should say brighter days. There are always brighter days. It is about seven in the morning here. We just had an ice storm, snowstorm yesterday. And I'm just getting out right now to survey some of the damage. We heard a lot of trees unfortunately snapping last night. I heard reports that unfortunately all over there are trees down, everything snapped just from the weight of all of the ice. So despite that, I'll still try to see some of the beauty. <laughs> down tree branch right in front and then looks like one of our pine trees snapped look at that the weight of all of that snow and ice is just a lot just a crusty crusty thick layer of ice. Maybe we should take a look around. There's some roof shingles <laughs> on the ground, not on the house. It's pretty. Always after ice storm, there's like this haze in the sky the next morning. But there is a lot of damage. Usually, it looks like we're pretty lucky so far. It's pure ice, I gotta be careful. Let's see the garden. Ooh. I'll be able to walk right on this. Let's see the back of the house. I'm surprised. The major tree branches. I don't think we're getting in the greenhouse today. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any gardening outside anyway for a little while. Let's see the backyard. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a seasonable early spring. <laughs> That's what I hope. Oh, 
Oh, look how sad the Arvita look. <laughs> Please tell me that you didn't snap. Oh, okay. Look at this. We're gonna try to help. Ugh. Help her out. Just trying to prop you in some snow and ice. Ooh. We're good. I'm gonna try to shake off. I'm gonna try to shake off some of this ice on this poor plant. I don't think I can without breaking all of those little branches and that's the last thing I want to do so we're gonna have to wait until the temperature starts to warm up because I don't want to start breaking all of the little branches looks like this area got hit really hard, which is really unfortunate, but I think a lot of, a lot of the trees are still hanging on. <laughs> Gosh, I was really hoping to do some more gardening this week, but I don't think it's going to happen. And I'm really worried about those tree branches that are just laying on the power lines connected to our house. So I should get out. Ooh, I should get out of this backyard. We also lost power last night. So we have been without power. So I don't I also think we're probably not gonna see the power coming on really anytime soon. I think until maybe further in the day when things start melting. So I think right now it's about 20, 22 degrees Fahrenheit and we're looking to get high 30s. So I'm hoping there might be a little bit of some melting, although not positive. And I, I should say not hopeful, not hopeful for a lot. Gosh, with the pine tree snapped right here I'm smelling a lot of the pine tree smell which actually smells really nice but it's really sad because we lost some really good chunks of pine tree and I see it's just like weighing right on my there's a branch weighing right on my hydrangea oh yeah so just when things were starting to look almost like spring I did get a lot of spring cleanup done, so I'm not sure what this next week will look like. Good morning, it is a brand new day. I am actually in the greenhouse, which is much different than what you just saw. It is now, it is now a few days later, and we actually went a few days without power in that little ice storm that we just had. You'll see behind me and around me, a lot of the stuff has already melted. It's been raining the last few days, which is helping to melt some of that snow and ice away. And fingers crossed, it doesn't look like we'll have another freak <laughs> ice or snowstorm in the forecast, but actually I should knock on wood because you never know here in Maine, anything can happen, expect the unexpected. So I thought it would just be really nice to give you a quick update on this dreary Friday rainy morning and show you what things are looking like really quickly. And then what I think I'll do after today is start my sweet peas and the rest of my lupin seeds. I've been soaking them for a little over 24 hours now. They have a tough, hard exterior shell and to help with germination. You could either soak them, nick them, or use a little bit of sandpaper to help with scarification on the outer shell, just to help to encourage them to germinate faster. I typically just use 
sandpaper and sand the outer edges of each seed in just that one little spot but I actually planned ahead this time and <laughs> decided to to soak them not my usual I usually just keep some a little sheet of sandpaper in with my seeds so that way when I have a spur of the moment and I want to start those type of seeds with a harder shell I just quickly sand give them a little sandpaper treatment so I have my coffee with me we're gonna do a quick roundabout to show you some of the tulips that are popping up I'm hoping in about four or so weeks by Mother's Day maybe a little earlier depending upon how warm we get we'll have tulips and then there is still some cleanup that I have to do tomorrow Saturday this weekend with pulling out the branches that fell uh, a few days ago that you saw but uh, yeah let's do a quick little walk and show you what we've got going on okay let's can we do this there we go all right whoops so you'll see quite the difference the tulips are peeking their heads out this whole contraption is coming down as well I'm hoping this weekend along with my upside down posts and if you're new here that was an accident <laughs> I had put those in when I first started gardening. But hey, they still served a purpose, so you're not a happy little accident, as Bob Ross would say. So yes, we'll have a bunch of tulips popping up. It was a beautiful show last year, so I'm hoping for the same. You'll see some of these beds are further along than others, these ones, as opposed to those ones. Those ones don't get as much sun for as long, so that's why. But look at the difference so much better without the snow <laughs> and still little remnants over there but we'll ignore that for now all right now let me take you towards the back which had the most damage we still have so much cleanup to do it's raining so i'm trying to be quick Okay. All right. Arbavita looking good. I have to fertilize them this weekend. I will do that. So I'll use some wood ash and some plant tone. But that branch, we got to clean that up. Yeah, here we go. This is what you just saw a few minutes earlier. So. You'll notice the arbavita has tried to correct itself. The top, I think what I'll have to do is just tie in on some twine near the head and then behind it, try and stake it so that it's upright a little bit more. You'll see all of these branches. I do need to move. And then you'll see my old compost, uh, you'll see my old composted tulips have leafed out. I just have started to put things under the pine trees for my little compost beds for now. All right, so I think that about does it for today's video. It's pretty amazing to see how much things change from just a matter of a few days here in Maine. I hope wherever you are, things are starting to look brighter, cheerful, and if you're in the same boat as me and you happen to live in zones five through six or even lower I hope we start to warm up soon and get to planting because I know we are just all so eager so I'm gonna run in get dry and start my sweet pea and the rest of my lupin seeds so have a wonderful Easter weekend thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time